Lights, please. And your job is to listen. Oh, hi. I was just thinking about all the different ways there are to describe things. What can you use to help you describe objects? Draw a circle around things that can help you describe objects, and then hit save. Okay. So, draw a circle around things that can help you describe objects. Draw a circle around things that can help you describe objects. Let's look at the objects that we have up here. We have a thermometer, a car, a nose, a chair, a hand, a ruler, a cup and a rubber ducky. Which of those objects or items up there can we use to help us describe <coughs> matter or describe things that we see? Uh, Angel? A rubber ducky. A rubber ducky? Let's circle it. Sure. We're going to circle anything you want to circle. You tell me what you think helps you describe matter. Jessica, what would you like to circle? The ruler. The ruler can help us. Oops. See how I kind of circled the cup a little bit. I didn't undo need to do that. that, so I'm going to undo that one and try again. I only wanted to circle the ruler. Okay. Um, Elijah. The thermometer. the thermometer can help us describe matter. Okay. Um, Riley, what would you like to circle? The hand. The hand. Can hands help us describe matter? Yeah. Sure. Okay, does anybody see anything else they'd like to circle? Samantha, what would you like to circle? No. The nose. Can noses help us describe matter? Y yes. Yeah, okay. Now, the important thing to remember at this point is, is that we're still figuring things out. We may not know everything that helps us describe matter, and we may think that some things do when they don't exactly do that for us, but our job right now is to figure it out. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch the video about the brothers, and we're going to see what they use to describe that. Clear, save this. Save it. Good. Now, let's hear a story. <coughs> Nick, look. That's the biggest dog I've ever seen. Wow, that's a really big dog. But I don't think it's the biggest we've ever seen. What do you mean? Look, its head is about as high as my elbow. Remember that great day we saw last week? Uh-huh. Its head was as high as my shoulder. You're right. That dog was bigger. Let's see. My shoulder is 17 centimeters higher than my elbow. So the Great Dane was about 17 centimeters taller. three o'clock. Well, what time is it now? 3.30. So we've been waiting 30 minutes. That's long enough. This must be the hottest day in history. You think so? We can find out for sure. See, the thermometer says it's 36 degrees Celsius. That's hot. But the almanac says the hottest day on record for our town was in 1942. It was 38 degrees. Okay, maybe it's not the hottest day ever, but it's definitely hot enough for some ice cream. Yeah! Oh. Wow! Nick had lots of different tools to help him describe things, like how hot it was, how tall the dog was, and how long they waited for the ice cream truck. Draw a circle around the tools Nick used to help him describe things. And then hit save. Save this. Okay. Let's think about what we watched. And our directions here say to draw a circle around the tools Nick used to help him describe things. Draw a circle around the tools Nick used to help him describe things. Does anyone see any tools in that picture there that helps Nick describe uh, some of the objects in the, in the, in the video? Uh, Kelsey, the thermometer. the thermometer, is that a tool that we can use to help us describe things? Yeah. Sure. What information does a the thermometer give us? What does that tell us? 
to show? Yeah, how cold or hot it is. Absolutely, thermometers measure heat for us. They tell us how, uh, how hot or how cold something is. Um, is there another tool in this picture here that we can see that helps us describe matter? Gabriella, what do you see? Um, the ruler. The ruler, yes. Gabriella, what does a ruler help you to measure? Okay, to forget. Remember, this is the lesson that we are remembering everything we know. So if we don't remember everything right now, that's okay. Okay, um, maybe one of your classmates can help you out. Does anyone know what a ruler helps us measure? Um, Austin, what is a ruler? Hmm? Yes, but what, what does it tell you about things? Like if you took a ruler and you wanted to measure this remote control, what would it tell you? How high it is or how low it is? Yes, what's another way we can say that instead of how high or how low, Narendra? How long it is? How long or how short? Yeah, so the rulers measure length. They tell us how long or how short something is. Um, is there another tool in this picture that can help us figure out information and describe matter? Um, Janelle? Uh, the dog, it, what, what information would the dog give you about matter? He can help you describe matter? Let's think about it. You know what? We'll circle the dog, and maybe we can think of a way the dog can help us describe matter. Sure, we'll figure that one out. Um, I think there's one more tool in the picture that we can circle that helps us. Does anyone see it? Dwayne? Uh, yeah. uh, phone. The phone, yes. Phone is an, uh, a, a unique scientific tool because it can certainly give us lots of information. <coughs> Smartphones today, we can look up things on the internet. Does anyone remember what Nick used the phone for in the in the video? What did he use it for? To look up something, Alexander? Do you remember? Jess, do you remember? Um to help him um remember what day was the hottest? Yeah, he looked up what day was the hottest. Yes. So that is definitely a place that we can go to for information. Um, can anybody think of some tools that maybe aren't in this picture that can also help us describe matter? Maybe we can just name one or two of those. Um, come here. Um, uh, um, um, a computer? A computer is definitely a scientific tool that can help us uh, get information about matter. Absolutely. Um, what about an, another tool that might help us describe matter? Let's just name one more. Um, Ryan. A walk? I'm sorry, can you hear me, honey? But just say it again. It's okay. I just didn't hear what you said. A watch? A watch, yes. A watch tells us time. That's a tool, absolutely. It measures time. We learned about that we can measure motion by its time and its yeah. distance, right? Uh, he, he was using a watch. <laughs> Yeah, to measure time. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, do say this. Click the questions to start a new discussion. When you're ready, you can move to the next activity or watch Nick and Noah again. Okay, so I want to talk about our questions. Remember we said that we were going to have an opportunity to share our thoughts with each other, to talk about what we're figuring out so far, right? So now is that time. We're going to think about what we've talked about so far. In what ways did you observe senses being used? So maybe before we answer that question, let's think about what are our senses. Uh, does anyone want to name them? Let's name them. Who haven't we heard from yet? Lauren. Can you tell me what the sense is? Hearing, yes, and which, uh, how do you hear? What do you use to hear things with? Ears. Your ears, yes. So we're going to write these up as reminders. Ears. Our ears help us hear. I'll give you a big hint. There are five of them, five senses, right? Okay, um, Kyle, what's another one? Mouth. Your mouth, what does your mouth help you do? It does help you talk, um, but as far as when we're talking about our senses, what is what information does it give us? It tells us about taste. What's another uh, one of our five senses? Narendra? Your eyes. What do your eyes help you do? 
Your eyes help you see. Yes, they do. Okay. Kelsey. Your hands. Your hands. Yes. Your hands. They help you feel. And we have one more. We have ears, mouth, eyes, hands. Hmm, which one are we missing? Hmm, I wonder which one we're missing. Uh, Janelle. The nose. What does your nose help you do, Janelle? Hmm? Sneeze? <laughs> How about smell? Close, yes, we do sneeze with our nose. Smell. So, just to remind us, here are our five senses. And these are the different ways that uh, we can also make observations about our environment. So it says, in what ways did you observe senses being used? So now when you think of the, think of the video you just watched of the two brothers, did one of the brothers use his ears, his mouth, his eyes, his hands, or his nose? Can you give me an example? Um, Gabriella. He used his mouth to taste. What were they tasting with their mouths in the video? The ice cream. Yeah, so yeah, you picked up on that. That was good. You're very observant. Yes, we've used our mouth to taste the ice cream. What is one more example of a ways that one of the little boys used their senses in the video? Austin? Well, we said mouth, so let's try a different one. We did mouth. Can you, did they use one of the other senses there? Okay, can we come back to you? Okay, no problem, we'll come back to you. Um, Michelle. Their eyes. their eyes, what did they use their eyes for? To see the ice cream truck. To see the ice cream truck, to see, what else did they see? The dogs, the dogs yes. A lot of things they were watching in the video, yes. Yeah. So those are a couple examples of ways that they use their senses. What about our next question? In what ways did you observe tools being used? In what ways did we observe tools being used? <coughs> Some of the tools that we talked about already, I'll get us started. We talked about a ruler and we talked about a thermometer. What way, in, in what way did they use the ruler? Narendra? To measure, yes, how long the arm was. He held it up to measure his arm. So a ruler measures length. That's how they use the ruler. Um, how do they use the thermometer? Alexander? How hot it was? Yes, to say how hot it was. A ruler <coughs> measure, or a thermometer measures heat. Okay. Um, we don't need to list any more. Those are just a couple of examples. Now let's keep going to our next question. Why might it impor be important to use both types of observations? Meaning, why should you do uh, make observations using your senses and your tools? Because you have your senses and your tools. And if we're not sure right now, that's okay. We'll figure that out as we go on. Remember, this is our first lesson with this topic, and this is the time where we're trying to make sense of everything and remember what we know. So if we're not sure of that answer right now, we'll figure it out as we move along. Narendra, do you have some thoughts on that? Yeah. Because maybe if you only use one, yeah, maybe you miss something if you only use one, like you just need more information. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, because sometimes you want more information.